What do you call an alligator in a vest? An investigator. <laughs> Hello again everybody and welcome back. Right, so previously I showed you how to mirror your Android device to your Fire Stick. And in that video a lot of people did ask how to mirror an iPhone or an iPad to the Fire Stick as well. So in this video we're going to show you that. So that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's crack on. Right, so in this video, obviously, I'm going to be using the 4K Fire Stick, but it should work practically the same for any. And then I've got an iPad and an iPhone. So first of all, instead of just mirroring straight from the Fire Stick, you're going to need to install an app. And there are a couple available. You can literally just go to the Amazon store and type in Air Screen. I think it's Air Screen. There's Air Pin as well. And there are a few others, but they all do practically the same thing, and a lot of them do charge you. So if you click on air screen, you can see it there. But this one does have adverts. Nobody likes adverts, do they? So I can show you another way. So you will need Downloader installed on your Fire Stick. If you haven't already got Downloader installed, it's free from the Amazon store. You just go there and literally type in Downloader. It comes up underneath. You can click there. Ding dangly do. Click on that and download and install it. If it doesn't download and install, it's probably because you've got no bank details set up to your Amazon account. Although it is a free install, they do require have those set up sometimes to be able to download from their store. <sighs> I've said that so many times now, it's unreal. <laughs> and don't forget, if you are experiencing any problems whatsoever, do comment down below and I'll be more than happy to try and help you. Right, so I'm quickly going to show you this. Majority of people will already have done this, but you need to make sure you go to settings all the way across to My Fire TV. It may say device for you. And once you click on that, you're going to see it says developer options and make sure that apps from unknown sources is turned on. Very important. Now we're good to go. So we want to go to downloader. I always do it by going to settings, applications, manage installed applications, and then you're going to see downloader. And now we're going to click on launch application. A very important step is make sure you allow the permissions. Otherwise, it'll say error connection and not be able to download things. So we'll click allow on that, click OK, and then it's going to ask you to enter a URL. Do make sure on the left-hand side in the settings that the enable JavaScript is ticked. We'll go back home on the left-hand side, and then we're going to type in this URL exact as I type it. So HTTP colon forward slash forward slash let's crack on dot org. And once you've entered this, you're going to click on go, and then it's going to take you to my website. And once that's loaded up, you want to go to the left-hand side and you see the menu button, and we just click on that. If you do find that the menu button doesn't come up for you, click on the three-line button on your controller and go to full-screen mode, and then as you can see, you can click on downloads there. But we'll do it this way. Click on downloads. Give that page a couple of moments just to load up. And a lot of you will find that the downloads page is very useful. It's packed with tons of apps in there that are going to make your Fire Stick just awesome. <laughs> so another thing you can do is click on the three-line button on your controller. You can add the current page to favourites. And when you click on save, if we go back home, simple every time then once you want to install something, you go to favourites, downloads, let's crack on, and it takes you straight to that page. There's none of that bullshit typing stuff in. Takes up a lot of time typing, doesn't it? Right, so now we're on the downloads page. We're going to scroll down until we get to the iOS section. So we keep scrolling down. One thing as well, a lot of people are saying about free VPNs. They're only You're only scrolling down to the premium VPN section. The free VPNs are underneath. Don't know why I'm saying that in this video. It's just because I'm here. <laughs> right, so as you can see, iOS, iPhone, and like iPhone stores. So you can see you've got AirPin Pro and you've got Air Screen. AirPin Pro is a paid service, but on, um, on there it, it may not be, you know. <laughs> but on this one, we're going to use the ad-free version of Air Screen. So if we click on that, it's going to take us through to a downloads page. And then simply, it's just going to give you a bit of a download timer. And once that timer's finished, it's going to install automatically. Well, it's not going to install automatically. It's going to download automatically. It's going to do something. <laughs> Right, so if it's zero seconds, and as you can see, it starts installing, downloading. It's doing something like we said. Once it's got to there, you're going to go across and click install. Get a couple of moments just to install. Once that's finished, you're going to click on done. And a very important step is make sure you delete these files. If you don't do it or you end up clicking done by accident, go across to files on the left-hand side, and you're going to see them all there. 
This is going to take up a lot of storage on your device. As you can see there, Air Screen itself is 47.1 megabyte in file size. These are only the download files, so the install files. You don't need them any longer. Long hold the middle button, go across to delete, ding dang do you're done. Right, so that's it. We can go back home now. And like I said, I always go into my apps by going to settings, applications, and manage installed. And then you're going to see you've got Air Screen there. That's what we need. One thing I want to show you on iOS devices. So this is my wife's iPhone. You scroll down from the top right hand corner and it brings up like a quick menu. And as you can see there, it says screen mirroring already. That's all fine and dandy. But what I did find on the iPad when I do scroll up, there's no screen mirroring option there. This pissed me off for a long, long time because I'm not used to iOS devices. But we managed to figure it out in the end. So what we want to do, we want to launch Air Screen. So launch the application. We're going to click on Start now. One thing you do need to make sure of is make sure both devices are on the same internet connection. And then we're going to click on Start and Start again. And then it's going to say Wait for a connection. And now on the iPad, we can see at the bottom there, it says AirPlay. So we can click on that. And then it comes up with the name of whatever that is. So if we click on that, scroll the mirroring across. So we'll click on that as well. And see what happens. So I'm going to click on my middle button on my remote. And then there you go. You can see the iPad is connected. We can scroll around. It's, it's the eldest daughter's iPad. So I don't know what's on it. <laughs> Subway Surfer. What a game. So if we go into YouTube and we just click on a video as we do. Very slow this iPad though. Really slow. As you can see it says connected to AirPlay. And then what we can do as well is turn it landscape. And I don't know if this works like that, I don't know. And then as you can see, it's playing on the screen behind me. And then we simply, we can go back home, and then there you go. I have noticed a difference in qualities as well. When I use my wife's newer iPhone, the picture quality was a bit better, and AirPin Pro seemed to give a better picture quality as well. But do comment down below if you know of any other apps we can use. We'll add them to the website and then people can just find which one works best for them. I'm going to have a go on Subway Surfers just so you can see how the game looks. And to be honest with you, I'm quite good at this game. I am. I'm, I'm good at it. I'm <laughs> right, so now we're gone. But as you can see, it's kind of like it's, it's portrait size. So what you could probably do is install the Set Orientation APK from the website. Let's crack on. And then set that to landscape, and then you should be good. But as you can see, it does play pretty well. And that quality does look a lot better than what we've just seen on YouTube. So this is great for if you want to look at pictures on your phone or your tablet to your TV. If you want to watch videos from your device to your TV, it's a very good way of doing it. But as I said, I'm not really an iOS user. So for those who do use it like hardcore users... Some people love iOS devices, my wife included. More than me, I think, as well. She's always on it. <laughs> then comment down below if you know, like I said, of any other apps or any other tips we can give other subscribers. And one more thing I will add is that is a really old iPad. When I were using the iPhone, if I turned it landscape, it filled the full screen. I have noticed when I'm using the older iPad, it doesn't seem to fill the full screen, unless I'm in such as YouTube, so... It's probably pointless me saying this. <laughs> if you're wondering why there wasn't no sound coming through when I was playing the game or playing a video, that's because my capture card seems to be a little shit and it doesn't do as it's told. But that's the only reason that there was no sound on there then. So that is how you mirror your iOS device, iPhone, iPad to your Fire Stick. It's, it is really easy. It's not as easy as Android devices, but it's literally just the install of one app and you're done, you're good to go, oi oi. But I hope this video has helped you today. I hope it is what you wanted to see. I don't know what I've just said then. <laughs> but that's me done for today. So I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that bell icon next to it as well to keep up to date and see this pretty face. I'm slavering all over my lip. <laughs> I'll see you soon. ta -da. Hello again, everybody, and welcome back. Right, so previously I showed you how to link... And a lot of people did ask to show how to mirror an Android device. Wow. But this one does have advert, have adverts. And AirPin Pro seemed to give a bit better pick. <laughs> and AirPin Pro seemed to give a bet better. If you want to watch videos from there, when I use me, I.
Robert. <laughs> 